Okay, so by now you know that you can create custom ringtones and sounds on your iPhone. But did you also know that you could do this on your Mac? You can make custom alerts on your Mac using any sound you want. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so we're all familiar with the normal sounds, the alert sounds that we have on macOS. Just to make sure, I'm going to show you I'm running a macOS Sequoia, but this works also on older Mac and probably will work in the future. So if we go to a system settings here and then scroll down to sound, we have the alert sounds. We're all familiar with these, the classic one, add a boop, a lot of them. Pretty standard ones, but actually we wanna spice things a bit up. So you can actually have any sound you want. I got these from the new Apple Intelligence. So I have these mp3 files here and these are the new sounds that I really like and want to have as alert. This one when we type on Siri, this one, this is a nice one. And we can actually use these as the default alert. So just a little demonstration right now, this is my alert sound. And I want to change it to one of these. First, we need to rename these files. As you can see, these are MP3 files and they need to become AIFF files. So to do this, we right click on the file and we click on rename. We go to the MP3 section, remove MP3 and add IFF. So that's a this format, IFF. And then you don't want to keep it as MP3, but you want to tap on use as IFF. And we need to do that for all the other three as well. So IFF for the second sound, use for the third one, IFF. The last one, IFF, hit enter. All right, so we have our four sounds now formatted in the IFF file size. What we need to do now is we need to go to the finder and then we hit go in the top here and we need to go to the library. So sometimes the library is already here. It can be that it's not. In order to access it, we go to computer and then we go to our hard disk. So Macintosh HD, click on that and there's our library. We go in there and we have all these folders and the one we're looking for is sounds. It can be that the sounds folder is not there. Don't worry, you can easily create it. Just right click here and select new folder. You need to type in your password or use touch ID in order to make changes in this folder. We're gonna name this sound. So that's really important sounds exactly with a capital S. Hit enter and again to make this change your Mac is going to ask for permission. We do that. Great. We have the sounds folder ready. We open it and in here we're gonna copy our sound effects click select them all right click hit copy go to our sounds folder and paste these four items just like that and now we're actually more or less set what we need to do here we can just close these windows then we go to our settings and scroll to sound and normally we should be good and the new effects should be there the new sound effects and as you can see they're exactly here all four of them if you want you can change the name of the file I'm gonna give you a demonstration of this sound when there's an error so let's change tab and close the finder which is not possible and as you can hear there is our sound effect this can be anything let's for example use the second one and show you how that sounds let's try the last one and number four this is also not bad if you want to remove the sound effect, we just need to do the opposite. We close this window, we go to our finder, hit go and go to computer, the Macintosh HD library, and here's our sounds folder. And we just delete it, right click it and move it to trash. Again, it's going to ask for permission to do this. Touch ID, it's gone. And now if we go to the sounds in system settings, we can see they're gone and we are back to default. That's a little bit of a customization touch to your Mac. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon and like this video video if this was helpful thanks for being here and see you in the next one peace